Hello everyone, welcome back to the series on programming robot mechanics. In this video, we are going to work on joint space point to point quintic trajectory planning. Right. Now, this is going to be very similar to the thing that we have done in the previous video for the cubic trajectory planning. Now, we are going to um, code implement quintic trajectory planning. Now, what is the main difference between these? Uh, in the cubic trajectory planning, we used a cubic polynomial that had the highest power as t cubed. And in the quintic polynomial, we are going to use the poly a fifth degree polynomial with the highest power of t to the 5. Right. Now, the difference is we are going to have six parameters in this quintic polynomial, uh, whereas we had uh, four parameters in the cubic polynomial. Now, what this six signifies, in the cubic polynomial, we were able to specify the initial position, initial velocity, final position and final velocity. In this, we can also specify the initial acceleration as well as the final acceleration right, as well. Now, this gives us a um, increased use flexibility of usage, like we can also adjust the value of acceleration. So, there is not much difference, like um, the paths generated will be smooth. Both of them are smooth since we are using polynomials. The only difference is the flexibility. So, wherever we want to use, uh, wherever we want to specify accelerations along with velocities and positions, we are going to use a higher order polynomial like a quintic polynomial. Now, one thing that can be noted is we are using polynomials of odd degrees like third degree, fifth degree, and even seven degree. Seven degree, we can specify the initial and final jerk as well. Now, why we are using odd degree polynomial is quite uh, clear if we try to see the parameters that are involved. In the cubic one, we had four parameters. Uh, initial and final, they contribute to two parameters times two because we have position and velocity. In this, we increase in a quintic polynomial, we increase two parameters more, initial and final acceleration. In the seventh degree polynomial, we will increase two parameters more, initial jerk and final jerk as well. That's why mainly, like it's not mainstream, but uh, we use even degree polynomials as well in some cases. But most of the time, our work usually revolves around these odd degree polynomials. Now, let's get to its code. It's going to be really similar, like we had over uh, in the cubic interpolation. Here we have the equations for a0, a1, a2, a3, a4, a5. We're just going to implement them and, and then check our results using the main.py, the graphs that we had plotted earlier. All right, so let's do this. First thing we are going to completely copy this. Since a lot of our work has been done, even the visualization has also been done, the visualization function that we had in the previous video. All right, now let's rename this first. And now we can specify uh, the accelerations as well, which we are going to do using QDD, a double derivative of the position. Now we have point to point quintic trajectory planning. And let's set some documentation now. All right, the return parameter is also the same. Now, in the cubic case, we had relatively small amount of parameters, like only four parameters. What uh, we can also adjust uh, in this case, we can add just two more parameters as well, like a4, a5, and like this. But a better way, I think, would be to um, include a list of this or maybe uh, right we can <clears throat> we can adjust the uh, polynomial parameters like we are doing above like defining a4 equals if and a5 equals but for the time steps we need to take power of these variables now we we can also define t4 as t times t times t um hmm. right so let's see let's just first improve this one let's just first change the polynomial parameters like it's going to be a4 a5 and so on so i'm thinking uh Yes, let's just uh, define these new polynomial parameters and then we will move on. Right. Okay. okay, 
now let's define uh, the time steps as well um, hmm, right okay now this is similar to what we have done previously and instead of this we are going to uh, use the previous variable to initialize this new variable for instance t square is already we have t underscore 2 t cube is simply t, t squared multiplied by t t to the 4 is t cubed multiplied by t and t to the 5 is going to be t to the 4 uh, multiplied by t right uh, okay and now we are going to uh, adjust the we are going to put a quintic polynomial over here and then its derivative over here and then derivative of the derivative over here so let's do this right so we have it and here are the final polynomials that we have okay uh, i think we have done what we needed to do over here now we can go on to main.py and adjust the things now instead of cubic polynomial we are importing quintic trajectory planning and replacing it over here and now let's change some values really differently like for the previous uh, main.py we did not adjust values too well so over here we are going to have some kind of um, some better changes over here okay so we also need to define initial acceleration as well and in final acceleration as well let's just put it zero for now and then we will change these values So instead of uh, having three degree of freedom arm, let's have a six degree of freedom arm. Uh, in this, we are going to set it something like this, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, and three. Now is it six? Yeah, it is six. Okay, now let's adjust every value for that. Okay. Let's put everything, every velocity and acceleration as zero towards the start and towards the end as well, because that is most of the time the case when we are dealing with trajectory planning. We start from rest and go to rest, something like that. We are going to have some particular changes over here. Let's see. Now let's make it go to four. Let's make this go to 10, 10, 5. Let's make this one go to a negative value, minus 2. Let's make this go to 0. Let's make this go to 4. And yeah, let's just change this to minus 3. Okay, so we have kind of random values we can say. Let's see how the quintic trajectory planning is working on this. Uh, this. this is the rainbow plot that we are getting. Okay, so we have six joints and the accelerations are starting from zero and ending at zero as well. Starting from zero, ending at zero velocities and this is a rainbow plot of positions that we are getting. We arrange these values something like this and towards the end they are randomly just being placed wherever they want to okay and all of them have been adjusted to 50 time steps we, um, one second has been divided into 50 time steps so this looks something like this right it does look okay for the being for the time being and right but the overall results will be clear when we will be unit testing it, uh, comparing it with the MATLAB planners as well. So till then we can assume that these are correct, but we will uh, correct our errors towards the, towards after some series of videos. Right. So I think this is done. Okay.
Okay. So I think this is pretty much what we wanted to cover for this video. Pretty short video compared to the other videos that we had because most of the work was done in the cubic section. Now this video only covered the quintic section. In the next video, I think there is going to be somewhat amount of work which in that we are going to work on linear width blend. Now linear width blend is we are, I think this is not going to be a point to point, but probably a via point, but we'll see. Now what via points, uh, right, It will, let's discuss that in the next video, what is via points. But the overall thing is in the next video, we are going to work on linear with parabolic blends. So it's not going to pass through uh, from one point to next point, but through a series of points. But let's see what we get in the next video and see you in the next video then. Bye.